Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and uh, Sagittarius Rising weekly tarot reading for July 15th to July 21st 2019 and uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we can jump straight away to the uh, to the reading Okay, so the first card which represents the topic for a Sagittarius week, that is going to be the Nine of Swords, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that you Sagittarius needs to overcome throughout the week, this is going to be the Nine of Cups. Afterwards, the third card stands for the positive aspect of the week and uh, that is going to be the, the, uh, the Emperor card. And then the last one, which uh, is the guidance the tarot is offering to you for throughout the week, this is going to be the um, King of Cups. All right, so once again, we do have the Nine of Swords, which is the topic, followed by the Nine of uh, Cups, which stands for the challenge. Then it is the Emperor, which uh, regards to the positive aspect. And then the last one here is going to be the... Um, King of Cups, which uh, regards to the guidance that Tsar is offering to you. All right, so um, it looks like that. Uh, oh, how can I place it? The week itself will uh, will relate to some undertakings that now it's just the the final moment that you will have to undertake them if I may express myself that way, and your realization, should I say it that way, that uh, there are some things that needs to be done. They just need to be done, get over with, and just keep on going uh, with your life. Not necessarily pleasant things that needs to be attended to, but yet a uh, substantial ones. So the topic here with uh, the Nine of Swords, it does represent your... It's not like a fear or a hesitation, but it's more like a, um, how do you say it with someone is, um, is rather reluctant to do something out of the, um, out of the fear, should I say that way, to do it in the wrong way. So that is the, uh, the topic itself that you may be, can I place it, inactive. For the reason being is that you may have a doubts in your strategies. You may have doubts as well uh, in the results um, that are going to accompany your actions after your actions are uh, incorporated. <clears throat> now, what is important here to know with the Nine of Swords is that one should overcome this uh, this fear which obstructs one of of to do, you know, whatever one thinks it's uh, it's substantial in this very moment. Just to give you an example here, you know, you may see the reason why the project isn't moving on forward. And that reason could be very well the idea that your boss isn't forcing upon the project. 
and for that reason you may not feel you may not be feeling comfortable you know to point to your boss that they are wrong with the project and with the idea all right and that fear you know that you may angry your boss or that you may be thrown away not exactly thrown away but let's say criticized for that you are criticizing your boss could obstruct you of actions that could be uh, applied into a relationships uh, as well but once again you need to overcome that fear because in actions uh, in action here in this case is going to have even dire consequences than the action whatever action that is the accompanied card here is going to be the 10 of uh, the 10 of wands formation it is a active friends that we do have and uh, yeah, it does look like, uh, guys, that uh, how can I describe it? That the whole thing is going to have a big repercussions. Now, the Ten of, uh, of Wands here does represent the, um, the enormous responsibility that you are feeling upon your shoulder or, or shoulders or that you are about to feel upon your shoulders. It's kind of like you are going to feel that the whole project lingers on your decision, that your your whole marriage depends on you, you know, the whole business resides, um, <clears throat> the success of your business resides based on your next decision as well. And it's kind of understandable that you are to be reluctant to make a decision knowing that there is no going back afterwards, all right? And it's kind of like a whatever you decide to do or whatever you do, you will have to deal with the consequences of it. Now, important thing to be said about these cards is that, you know, it kind of looks like a high risk, high reward kind of a uh, situation. But I do believe that there is far little risk that you are um, imagining that uh, there is in reality and that will be described here in the third position of our spread but let's go first into the second one which points to the challenges that you will have to overcome and that is the nine of cups so the nine of cups points that this thing that you are afraid to act upon you know had its good and bad moments as well but overall it's a, a beneficial undertaking However, with the nine of uh, cups, um, it will be challenging for you to sustain it or let's say to secure it for the reason being that right now at this particular stage of its development, it does not bring the same glee and um, sensual joy as it gave before. Okay, and that's why you may wonder, is it really worth doing it? Well, according to these cards, really it does really worth uh worth doing it it worth standing for it standing for a uh, something the accompanied card here is going to be the ace of uh, the page of wands excuse me and the formation it is a passive enemies that we do have so uh what the cards here points into this position is that you are going to be as well tempted to um, redirect your efforts your energy and your whole being if you want to say it that way into a different agenda trying to forget that there are responsibilities waiting for you like devoting yourself into a different project you know like ignoring the problems into your marriage for example or ignoring the problems in between you and your friend and etc etc instead of doing what you can to sustain that friendship or doing what you can to uh, make progress into fixing your marriage okay so this these are the challenges that you need to uh, overcome throughout the week to uh, put some efforts to sustain what you have already achieved you know and as well resist the temptation the temptation to bear on it in a favor of a new enterprise and then we go to the third card, which does represent the positive aspect of the week, and that will be the Emperor. So what the Emperor points here is that you are to present yourself with as a person of a great reliability, and that is if you take responsibility for the current situation and accountability as well. People truly are going to be amazed with, um, how can I describe it, with your standing, let's say that way. Um, 
I'm gonna describe it really that you are holding yourself and not just only yourself but you are holding the the situation accountable and yourself as well accountable being ready to uh, to take full responsibility of one action and uh, therefore this is going to provoke you to be more meticulous than usual to be more thorough if I may say that way um, than usual which will allow you to make a very good structure around that situation around for example your marriage or around your career which on its uh, hands excuse me you are be you are going to be able to face the ups and downs into the situation itself with much more ease than uh, than usual and it is where you're going to realize that actually the risk was not that high if if any risk at all the accompanied card here is going to be the Queen of uh, the Queen of Pentacles formation. It is a active neutrals that we do have, so that additionally is going to open many others. Um, I cannot say opportunities, but let's say means that you can work with into your career or into your relationship. What I mean that these are not opportunities is that you will not have a indulging with this undertaking you will not have an opportunity for a new relationship but you will have new means or you are going to discover new means new angles from which you can sustain your relationship or you can discover you are to discover new ways how you can impress your boss okay or how you can yeah impress your boss and for example win their favor get uh, promoted or get raised in uh, in payment However, all comes to that that you first need to focus upon uh, sustaining your current achievements once again, all right, and your current progress, if I may express it that way. And before you decide to move into something new, you first need to make sure that everything that you have worked upon this, uh, this very moment, it is actually finalized, settled and secure as well. And the last card that we do have it is the guidance and that will be the king of uh, cups so the king of cups urges you to be uh, well i would say balanced with your judgment and as well uh, especially if we're talking about career approach the matter with great amounts of professionalism okay do not make decision based on uh, emotional standpoints uh, additionally to that uh, this card it's uh, it urges you to give a hand all right to help someone if someone needs your help because it's going to be returned to you afterwards the accompanied card here is going to be the seven of pentacles and the formation it is a passive friends that we do have so as a passive friends these couple of cards are uh pointing that uh, everything that how can i place it um, stands in between you and a comfortable position that you may take either into your marriage into your career or maybe in your entire life it's a, a very well found decision right or a very well found judgment if you want to say it that way as well and that only could could happen guys if you tame your emotions it is just don't outburst and try to see the situation objectively okay and especially, as I said, if we're talking about career with a, a professional eye, with an eye for the subtleties um, in there. So, um, yeah, it, it looks like Sagittarius is that uh, this, uh, <laughs> this week itself, uh, it's going to be a week where you have to actually, I cannot say take the things seriously, but it looks like to me as a week that you are going to reap certain fruits uh, or harvest a certain progress which progress may scare some of you because some of you may not hope for such a I would say big progress and as everybody knows you know big progress demands big responsibilities as well and that could petrify you no different than for example someone elects you for a very responsible job and you you may be hesitant to to take that election because you may not feel ready to um, to take on this responsible job. You may feel that there is a lot in stake here. Well, in reality, that's not the case, really. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading for July 15th to July 21st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then.
Bye.